Hi children, welcome back. I hope you all are fine. In the previous class, we discussed about the after and before numbers. I think you all understood the portions well. Let's start today's activity. First one, filling the boxes. In the first column, numbers from 1 to 10 are given. Likewise, in the first row also, numbers from 1 to 10 is given. Some numbers in the grid are already filled by adding the corresponding numbers taken from first row and first column. For example, first we take 1 from the first row and 1 from the first column. That is 1 plus 1 equal to 2. Then add 2 with 1. That is 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Then 3 plus 1 equal to 4. 4 plus 1 equal to 5. 5 plus 1 equal to 6. 6 plus 1 equal to 7. 7 plus 1 equal to 8. 8 plus 1 equal to 9. 9 plus 1 equal to 10. 10 plus 1 equal to 11. In this way, you fill all other boxes in the grid. Okay, children. Next one. In what always do we get 10 in this? Write them in the boxes below. Look at the number, number grid, then write. Here, 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 9 plus 1. Second one, pick other numbers from the square. Find pairs of numbers which add up to it. Which two numbers added together give the sum 1616. Yes, 8 plus 8, 7 plus 9, 6 plus 10 and 9 plus 7. Second, 14. Third, 12. Last one, 11. Find the pair of numbers. Do it yourself in the rough book. Okay, children. Second activity, farming. Tinu and Minu agreed to plant tapioca. They started digging. Dear children, look here. In this Chinu's patch, in the first row, Chinu planted 10 tapioca. Second row, 10. Third row, 10. Last row, only 4 plants are there. Are they? Total, how many plants are there? 3 rows. 3 rows means 10, 10 and 10. That is 30. Last row, only 4. That is 30 plus 4 equal to 34. Minus pads. Look here children. Here minus pads. Here menu plant or tapioca in 3 rows. How many plants in the first row? Yes, 10. In the second row, 10. Children, how many plants are there in the third row? Count and say. Yes, correct. 8. Total how many plants are there? Yes, 2 row means 20. Then last row, 8. 20 plus 8 equal to 28. Chinu planted 34 plants and Minu planted 28 plants. From this, who planted more? Yes, 34 is biggest number. So, Chinu planted more. How much more? Can you say? Yes, 6 more. That is from 28 to 34. 28 after 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 6 numbers are there. So, 6 more. Next question. How many in all? You find the total. So add the 
two numbers. 34 plus 28. First we add number in the ones column. 4 plus 8 equal to 12. You write 2 under the ones column and 1 carry forward. Next add the tens column. That is 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 6. The answer is 62. Another way. 34 plus 28. Here 34 means 30 plus 4. 28 means 20 plus 8. First we add tens. That is 30 plus 20. That is equal to 5, 0, 50. Then add 8 and 4. That is 8 plus 4 equal to 12. 12 means 10 plus 2. Already we have 50. 50 plus 10, 60. 60 plus 2, 62. Many months after, the tapioca has grown. Chinu picked out 7 tapioca. So many tapioca. She boiled them and ate her fill. She gave the remaining to her friends. Chinu Decided to pluck out more and sell it. How many left for selling? How do we calculate it? Here we want to subtract 7 from 34. Here total plants 34. Number of plants picked 7. Then we want to find the remaining. So you say before 34. Take seven fingers and say before 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 another method first subtract 4 from 34 34 minus 4 equal to 30 then subtract 3 from 30. 30 minus 3. Say before 30, 29, 28, 27. Thus 34 minus 7 equal to 27. Here we split the number 7 equal to 4 plus 3. I hope you all understood the portions. Okay children. Today's class is over. Take care. Thank you.